Hi, welcome to tutorial number 9 for CSCI 130. In this tutorial, I just want to give you an example of the uh, what on the uh, how to program the event text change. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to um, have two text boxes. So, let's see. So, this is going to be a very trivial example. So, here is one, here is two. Okay. Let's suppose that I want to do the multiplication. I mean, this is something that we did last week, but I'm gonna show you something. I mean, what is the idea of this? I'm gonna have a label here. So the label, I'm gonna put the multiplication symbol there. And then we're gonna have a button that we're gonna call execute. So let's call that execute, okay. And then uh, let's have an able for an answer. Uh, well let's have here answer. I'm going to call it a label answer. So we're going to have another label and we're going to put the answer. So we're going to go first, we're going to change what it says uh, auto size. We change that to false and we're going to change the border style to fixed no 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 uh, fixed single okay and then I'm going to take away the text so text is label 3 so I'm taking away the text there um, this is basically the same thing with that we did last week so what we're going to do is reading two numbers I'm gonna change the title of the home. I don't like what it says for one. I'm gonna call it multiplication. Multiplication of two numbers. Okay, so now this is the one that I'm programming first. So I'm clicking on here execute and then I'm gonna say, you know what? And, th and let's now use variable. Let's use two variables. Dim, so we practice variable x, comma y as integer. Now you see that from our previous examples, I mean I'm putting two variables in the same definition. Before I was putting variables in different definitions, I mean different statements. I was doing dim x as integer dim y, but I was using initialization. Here I'm not initializing them. Didn't say equals to zero and anything like that. So now I'm gonna set x equals whatever is the value that is on text box one dot text. Then we close the parentheses and then y equals the value from text box to that text we close the parentheses then uh, I think I got a typo here text at 2x is there here yeah now it looks okay okay so now I got the x and the y so let's let's add another variable here this is sum no, 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 multiplication, I'm sorry, so we're doing the multiplication, multiplication. I mean, we don't need that many variables, but we just practice this because now we know about variables. Now we say multiplication, variable multiplication comes from x times y. And the value of x is whatever is, is in text box 1, and the value of y is whatever is in text box 2. Now I want to see my answer in the label. I don't remember the label, the name, so I click on the label, and I see that the name is label 3. Then I'm gonna say okay now. Oops. Now I know. Here we say label three dot text equals to the content of mult multiplication. Okay, so far I haven't done the text change. That's what we want, but we're gonna see what will be the purpose. Okay, so we're gonna press F5 to see the execution of this. Here. So we type 12, and then we type here 30 then I said execute and the answer is 360 okay but now if I say 5 times 20 so look when I'm doing 5 and the 20 look at that for a moment it looks like the answer is 360 so it doesn't look good right doesn't look uh, uh, since I changing the numbers this should be gone now so when I change, and that's the idea of text change, when I'm changing this, I mean, now it's, it's 100, now it's all right, but I'm waiting until I click the, the execute button. 
So now let's say that I change this for a 6. Somebody comes and look, it seems like a 6 times 20 is 100. And I change the number, this should change too. So let's close the application. Now, what I'm going to do is double click on the text box. And when I double click, look at that, get something that says text box 1 underscore text change. So that's the event. And then, okay, that means when, when, when they change the text, what, what I wanted to happen. Well, let's say that label for that text changes let's clear that so let's say equals empty string quotes and quotes remember that i say that whatever you enclose in quotes is the string that you're going to display so that's the empty string so let me see label for what's the problem oh do we have a label for oh we don't have a label for i'm sorry it's label three label three i'm sorry Label tree there. Yeah, I need to be in the classroom so students can tell me eh, you don't have a label tree. Okay, there. So now I'm gonna click F I mean FI. And now let's see. If I do three times four execute twelve. Now <coughs> now if I take away the three, look at how that number twelve is gone because I'm gonna type a new number. But look, but now if I start typing over here on the 4 the 20 didn't change why? because I did not program the second text box if I don't want then I need to do it too so I'm gonna go over here and then do the same here so we we'll double click and now what happens when we, if I change the text box here so I can do the same label 3 dot text equals now empty string I got another choice instead of putting the quote quote that means empty that means put nothing there I can say a string and that's what they have in the textbook dot empty that's a nice thing so these and these means the same it's like the putting the two quotes but this is a very nice I find an object M a string that they said is empty so so really nice okay so now what is the difference well I say 34 times 2 execute 68 if I change this for a 1 look at how that is clear and then I put here a 7 it's also clear and then I can get the answer so that's it for this tutorial so this is the one that illustrates the idea of text change so on the next tutorial I'm gonna um, sh the show you how we do the posting for this uh, for this session